Nick Gotti. In high school, he was a standout. In the broader pool of collegiate baseball, he was determined. Yeah, it was kind of kind of interesting coming from high school because I went to a small high school with only like 700 kids, and um, being like one of the stars on the baseball team because we didn't have much to choose from, and uh, coming here was real kind of shocking because I've always been like an all-star stuff like that, and coming here, all the guys like Kay Komatani was a senior when I was here, now he's in AAA. Like all the guys I just looked up to, was like, wow, these guys are really good. You never know what you can achieve, really, because I never thought I would be doing performing with Pepperdine as a main close and when I was a freshman here so just kind of keep working hard like you never know what you accomplish if you just work hard every day try not to focus on the long run just keep working hard every single day and you never know where you end up last year Nick posted a 2.68 ERA and 15 saves on the season it is difficult to chalk that success up to just one element but perhaps mental toughness talent and competitiveness Beach ya. How tall are you? Six, four, six, five, something like that. Oh, good job. Thanks. I tried real hard. I drank a lot of milk. Actually, I did drink a lot of milk because my buddy was always an inch taller than me growing up. And I drank a lot of milk to pass him, and I did, eventually. It's my competitive nature. Yeah. I drink milk. I do anything I can to get an edge. It's almost as if Nick has two persona. Nick, the nice guy, the good guy, and Nick transformed into the closer for Pepperdine ready to do what it takes to earn a win for the waves. I feel like I'm mentally strong as far as staying focused after a game, but it's really funny because I feel like a completely different person when I'm actually on the mound pitching. I don't feel like very nice, but everywhere else on the floor, like when I'm off the field, I feel like I'm a nice guy and guys come up to me, I can talk to them and stuff. But when, the, when I'm on the mound, I really feel mean and I kind of feel like that's necessary sometimes. It's just how I have to be mentally to perform at my best. When Nick is out on the mound, the noise of everything else seems to quiet. Well, especially pitching, um, specifically, is such like a routine. You do the same thing every time. It's almost like, I don't want to sound cheesy and say like meditation, but it almost is kind of like a mantra deal. Like you know what you're doing. Like when I'm playing catch with my buddy or whatever, like it's I know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. But in a class, it kind of seems monotonous and stuff like that. But it's almost like a break from the routine of the day to just be out there and kind of doing something that I enjoy. That's really what it's all about for me. It's the teammates and uh, coming out here and knowing, knowing that you're going to be with these guys every single day. And it's not it's not something that you'd not look forward to. It's something you are proud about is when you're out there it's, it feels like you're out there by yourself. I mean you, you can feel, you can hear your buddies in, in the dugout cheering you on. 